This is Cliffside, a lawless town ruled by only the most ruthless, Johnny Law Vaderness, no good or spookiness, dastardly of the dastardly, aka my voiceover. What? Did, did somebody say something? N something about a voiceover? Not me. It was me. I'm Two-Bit Jerry, a gunslinger and an outlaw. So be gone, monster. Back to the cliffs with you. Waylon, my dad needs you. Oh, uh, Joe, watch out! <laughs> Scary. I said be gone! That's Honest Joe, my partner in crime. She's never told a lie. You're bad at this. Uh-oh, forgot they could do that. <laughs> Street Crosser, watch out! Oh, don't mind me, just mosey the lawn. Oh. Ah. I'm, uh, out of bullets. Same. What's important is we fight to the- Wait, what? Nice. I'm a better shot than I thought. Ah. Ah. Ooh, Joe, help! I was being cheeky, I know you shot them! Ah. I'm sorry, I learned my lesson! Secretly, I haven't learned a thing- Oh my god! The other one's coming! Now I'm learning my lesson twice as fast! No! Sheriff Pinecone, hand over the money and no one gets hurt. Not this time, two bit! Somebody sold out! Oh, my old partner! What you doing? Huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Remember how this town is surrounded by monsters? Yeah, what do you mean? I shot like 50 in the intro sequence. 50. Didn't even cry. Nothing suspicious about mentioning that, specifically. Ah, whatever. Just be glad I helped you at all. I'm 2-Bit Jerry, a no-good dastardly gunslinger. I, I once shot a man just for looking at me wrong. Then I shot him again for dying. Pew, pew. Just pretend to stand watch. Fine. It's fine, you can stay over there. <laughs> Four of my eyes. Okay, that was weird. No, it wasn't. It was <laughs> horrifying. I'm going to eat you now. Cut it out. I'm two bit Jerry, the most dastardly outlaw there is. I once shot a sheriff just because I was grumpy from shooting sheriffs all day. Really? Yes. I, I'm so dastardly, I once shot my own posse just because my gun was getting heavy with all the extra bullets. Plus, I once distracted a stupid spider long enough to escape her dumb web. <laughs> ah! Ooh. Eh. Ugh, ouch. But more importantly, <laughs> that was nifty. Wow, how the heck did you. <laughs> Well, what do we have here? Looks like Cordy finally caught something other than flies. <laughs> hey, Annis. Hi, death itself. <laughs> nice. So, how about you hand over the little cowboy? Wait, what? But you just said- Oh, please, Cordy. How about you be useful and stand watch for more prey or something? 
And speaking of being useless, come near my nest to scavenge for food again, and I'll rip your tiny head off. Ah, put a lid on it. She was gonna eat me just fine till you guys showed up. Did it ever occur to you maybe I can do more than just stand watch? Wait, you mean me? Who? I think I like you two much better as puddles. You stood up for me. No, I think I was transferring personal issues. <laughs> that was... That was awesome! You're so awesome! I was going to say questionable physics, but yeah. I mean, of course that was. Wait, really? They were all like, meh, meh, meh. And you were all like, ah, take a lid and put it on that. <laughs> you stood up to them. I want to be just like you. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. The life of an outlaw ain't easy. That uh, was pretty cool, what you just did there yourself. I'll do it. Anything. Well, since you've seen how great I am, I suppose I have no choice. Montages are dangerous. Cordy, I didn't think we'd actually rob- Hands up, we got you surrounded. W what? But, but I'm not- You'll never take us alive! But we're open to possibilities. Cordy, I- this got way out of hand. It's okay, I got this. I won't let you down, I promise. All right, death it is. What in tarnation is going on? Oh god, she's gone southern. Hey, lay off my partner! I once shot a man just for- Back off! Oh my god, yes, of course. So sorry. Waylon, explain. It's not my fault. This spider lady tried to eat me. I like your hat. I was teaching her to be a gunslinger, but like, oh, Joe, you should have seen it. We killed this giant pterodactyl and death itself. Well, not death itself. You can't kill death. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, that makes sense. That's kind of his whole thing. Anyway, so we, uh, I, uh, I just... Wait, what? Okay, my horrendous buzzing of flies is a little rusty, but I think he wants to bit Jerry's hat? Scarf? Don't mind me, just crossing the street. Whoop, there I go. <laughs> what just happened? So, you gonna learn your lesson, or...? I... Uh, can I at least learn it in a standoff? <sighs> Make it fast. Cordy, I made everything up. What? Nothing. Standoff time. Hey, Death. Why don't you pick on someone from your own metaphysical plane of existence? Prepare yourself, Death. I'm gonna do something I should have done to you the first time we met. Giving you validation. See, Mr. Death itself, I learned something today. Boy, I wonder how it's going over there. Seems like he's actually got a handle on it. Therefore, the moral of this episode is if you validate someone enough, you can manipulate them into doing whatever you say. 
Good job, Death. Who's a good little Death? You are. You were in that sheriff's store, didn't you? Please don't kill me. <laughs> you know, technically, you being our sheriff and protecting the town would mean less dead people and less work for you if you think about it. Huh. He didn't learn a thing. You're darn right I saved the town! Woo! Wish I got more credit for things I broke and then barely fixed. Now, who wants to stand watch? Are you kidding me? I'm way too cool for that now. Ow. I do. Me too! I once looked at something and only lost focus for three hours. Spider-Girl isn't coming. Hey Joe, by the way, if the sheriff position was open, what happened to the sheriff before death? I don't know. Shot. Bandits, probably. Culprit was never caught. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs>